Thank you very much. So greetings for everybody. I'm Jofia from Budapest, and my topic is uh, civil or public uh, support, financial support for musicians. When I'm talking about musicians, um, I al uh, the definition also includes um, composers, so authors, performers, and sometimes their publishers. Well, um, in an idealistic world, the answer to this question should be both, but nowadays the, rea the, rea the realism in Hungary is that uh, um, musicians can get a mixed one, a public support from civil sources, but let's see the facts. So, the facts are that historically in Hungary, pop musicians um, never really get uh, a state financial subsidiary. It's because that uh, from other sources like live acts or grand lights or um, royalties from music copyright institutions were always much more proportionally sign more significant than these financial supports from the state. Usually these state subsidies, subsidies are, were awarded for classical music uh, right holders. Um, it's because of the market of the classical classical music, um, the, dif the different structure, the narrower scope, or a fewer sources. Yeah, okay, but what gives the up-to-dateness to this question now? Um, it is actually two amendments of the Hungarian Copyright Act. Um, the first one was in 2011. Um, in back, back then, uh, the Hungarian parliament um, passed a provision that prescribed to music copyright uh, societies to transfer uh, that amount that was um, separated for uh, civil cultural supports of music right holders to the National Cultural Fund. Um, this, um, this sum um, was the seven percent of the uh, public performances of uh, literary and music musical works, and also the seven percent of the claims of from re remunerations of performers. Well, that was the first one. The second one came in 2013. In 2013. Um, the amendment was about to pass additionally the 25% of the private copying remuneration to the same fund. Yeah, so with these two amendments, the system of the remuneration changed significantly. A new actor entered the system. And also this new, ent this new uh, actor was the National Cultural Fund. Um, yeah, uh, it is. Wh what is National Cultural Fund? I don't know if it is Ingl also existing in Poland. So it is um, a supreme um, state institution um, for um, for for um, supporting a cultural life in and outside Hungary uh, from its uh, budget by using its own tender procedure. So why do I state that this fund is the winner? Um, they get a new source because um, these, these music collecting societies were NGOs and usually a state institution doesn't get any sources from um, civilians. And the second thing is that um, they are doing their tenders from um, a common centralized budget. They, this uh, fund has permanent and temporary boards. Um, it, has also, it, it has also a, a general music permanent board, and from 2014, uh, a new temporary board was established for um, supporting solely pop musicians. And we don't exactly know, the problem is, however, that we don't exactly know, it's not transparent, for anybody who is not working 
in the cultural fund, how these uh, these civil monies uh, are used and what for they are used. We only the only thing that we know um, for sure is that this temporary board um, gets some percentages directly from the civil money, and uh, they can they can use it for supporting only pop music, not classical music. Um, so, for example, some numbers, just for the effect, um, in 2014 and 15, the, the NGOs transferred 1.3 billion forints to the found, and the temporary body used 500 million from that, and we don't exactly know what happened with the remain, remaining 800,000 forints. So, these numbers for this year are 1.9 billion forints, and um, the budget of the temporary board is 1 billion approximately. So, yeah, who are the losers if we already know the winners? Um, the losers are the NGOs, the music collecting societies, um, directly because they lose control about the, their cultural funds, and indirectly because they seem like uh, huge representative institutions for one uh, group, one by one group uh, of music right holders, but they cannot save their money. So it's not an easy thing to communicate to their right holders. Okay, by the way, uh, right holders, what is this uh, whole change of the system? Look like, looks like the, from the view of the right holders, the musicians. Well, um, some of them are losing with this new system, some of them are winning with the new system, and you can take it word by word. So when a musician is among the, t the winners of the, of the tenders of the found, then they can get back more or less um, than they should get from the private copying remuneration from the music collecting society. The real losers um, among the musicians are those who are not among the winners, the winners of the of the tenders of the found, but they are those musicians who can have a share from the private copying remuneration. Yep. Okay. So Nowadays, in Hungary, when this topic arises, um, there are usually three statements or questions everybody, is, everybody would be arguing about. The first is, um, is it okay that um, the found gives public support from civil money? The second one is, uh, is it okay that this public support has not or not in a transparent way has have um, state subsidiary the subsidiary and the third one usually is um, how can a public support be efficient if it lacks the the support from its founders and its recipients and uh, where it all goes only time will tell and thank you for your attention. <laughs>